Hi there, it's Karen here. Welcome back to Moroccan Journal Monday. And as I said in last at the end of last week's video, um, I'm going to do a snippet roll today. I don't know whether I'll do something else afterwards because once I've glued everything on, I'm going to want to sew it. So I might not be able to do that until it's all dried and perhaps come back next week and start using the snippet roll to decorate the pages and things. But um, I'm just going to start with that today and see how far we get. I've got um, all my little bits of fabrics here, I've got little, sort of little snippets, I've got little pieces from the kit that we might add as well, some um, random bits of fabric in purple colours really because there's a lot of pink in the, in the um, fabrics that I've got, the Indian fabrics, so let's just see how far we get. I'm just going to perhaps do um, a, a first layer, I've got a single piece here, I've got a couple more strips to see um, if we do well I might try and add another one on and make a nice long one because there's lots of places I've been flicking through the kit um, I don't think it actually needs a belly band I know I said that I was thinking I might make one but I don't think it needs one it's got so many pockets that I actually think I'm just going to use these pieces to um, decorate the edges use as tabs just cut it up and just add a bit of glamour throughout the throughout the journal I think that's what I'm going to do use it as a decorative decorative bits so let's make a start and just start gluing little bits of bits and pieces of fabric lace whatever we can lay our hands on really so I'm just going to start with a piece of this this is I'm just going to cut a piece of that I'm just going to glue them on kind of randomly um, I want to make sure that all the background gets covered so I think what I'll do is I'll do some sort of background background layer then I'll add another layer and then once it's been sewn I might add some of the more um, dimensional bits on top just glue those over the top so that's the plan as far as that goes not much of a plan really but that's what I'm thinking so I'm just going to use my glue stick as I usually do just to get them stuck on but not with any real expectation that that will hold them forever. So because they will, I will go, I will sew down. I'll probably sew down the middle with a zigzag stitch just to make sure everything's caught on. So maybe I'll do another, oh, this little odd scrap now. So I'm just going to pop that somewhere. We'll just do a few bits of this. Just keep layering up. I've just got this single strip at the moment, but I'm thinking I might I might go on to a second strip and add that on as well. I do love making these things. I haven't done one in ages. Feels like ages anyway since I last made anything like this. I always like doing something um, for Christmas, and I haven't done a I don't think I've done a Christmas one for a while. That might be something coming up. I don't know. I have now got. This way over the last few days, um, I've got all my Christmas stuff out. I know you're seeing some Christmas videos from me, some kind of pocket making and that, because we're just part of the DD Farago challenge. But I actually haven't started working on my journal yet that they're all going to go into. But that will be coming soon because I now think I know what I'm going to do. I've got my fabrics out and I've been having a look at what I might possibly use. I'm going to use a little bit of this. It's like a purple ticking this, isn't it, really? Which is rather nice. Don't know which side is the right side? I don't think it matters too much. Put that there. I usually put the glue on here, don't I? that. Yeah, so I found I have got a lovely lot of fabrics already. A lot of them are just bought from Hobbycraft, um, you know, um, fat quarters. But they are really nice. They do some really lovely fat quarters for Christmas. So I think I'm going to use some of that for my journal, for my cover. But I'm going to do a slightly different cover to normal. But this is a, this is a Moroccan journal. So let's not talk about Christmas. <laughs> 
I must stop getting distracted just because I get excited when all my Christmas stuff comes out. I want to start using it all. Obviously within a few weeks it'll take over my craft room and I'll be fed up with it. But right now it's all quite exciting getting it all out. I'm going to add that on. I've decided I want to do I want to do a nice long one so I'm just doubling that over and then we can put a piece of piece of nice fabric. Ooh, let's put a piece of this. Oh, this is just a piece of fabric I painted or sprayed gosh ages and ages ago. I think I may have even done it on camera but it was a long time ago. It was before I moved and I've been here nearly two years can you believe? I can hardly believe I've been in this house nearly two years. A little bit, just going to do a little bit. Um, it's a gorgeous colour though, isn't it? That. It's just a little scrap off the end that uh, came out and just the colour I need. Yeah, two years, wow. Mind you, the house is uh, barely recognisable from when we moved in. We've done a, a lot of work on it, needed it. Um, okay. Another piece of this. This is kind of a bit pinkier. A bit of that. Cut that in half. So this is kind of very random. That's what makes it fun. Not really, not really following any particular plan. That's what these things are all about, aren't they? Okay, a bit of this. This is just adding a little bit of background colour. It's all going to be, probably a lot of it will be covered up. Now these are quite bright, so they will poke through, I think. And a little bit of this. This is a bit of vintage fabric, I think. Most of my fabrics are not vintage, but every now and again I've bought a pack or something. And then I don't like using it because, <laughs> because I don't like to uh, use, use it all up. But I do use it, but I'm kind of a bit sparing. I'm going to start using some of the Indian fabrics in a minute just to fill in, but I'm just doing some kind of bit of basic stuff, basic background stuff. Can't even can't even speak properly. Stuff, what's stuff? Right, I'm going to put that there. So I know this is very purple, but there's a lot of pink in my box <laughs> with the, the Indian bits, which are all obviously going to be more pr prominent and I add them on top or add them next. So, oh dear, this is very stringy this one. So we, it's what's happening here to, at the moment. We're, we had Arlo yesterday. I'm filming this on the Friday. You should get this on Monday. My husband is out for the day with his brother. They've gone walking. They like to do that now and again. They don't see each other a huge amount, but they do like to go and have a walking day together. They go, they'll go and have lunch in a pub or something. And uh, it's nice for them to have a bit of time together. And of course, their third brother is the one in Australia who came over for Jenny's wedding. So it was lovely for the three of them to get together. Right, so we've got a kind of start point, starting layer. Obviously it's not all covered. Now we need to perhaps add, and I might put some more bits of that on, but I think I'd quite like to put another bit of this gorgeous uh, sprayed fabric on. Where can I put that? I'll put that here, shall I? So I've got, I've got a load of sprays. I haven't used them a lot lately. Um, collected over the years when I was doing 
Well, I was doing art journaling at one time. Don't do that really anymore. But anyway, whoop. Yeah, so here's out for the day. So I'm in my craft room today. I mean, I've got a few other things I need to do. I've always got loads of things to do. I mean, you see my ironing pile, it's ridiculous. It gets higher and higher because I keep washing things and don't get around to ironing them. So I've got this piece. I'm going to do a bit of this in a couple of places. So I really want to do today, or this afternoon, after I've made this video, I want to do, to, to finish, I'm determined to finish Arlo's journal that I made for, I'm making for him for his his first year really. Um, I talked about it when I started, I've done one for Alyssa as well, hers isn't quite finished either, I'm, I'm terrible at finishing sometimes. Um, yeah, I've got as far as my birthday, which is only two weeks before his, and I've kind of ground to a halt, so I really need to go back, print off all my pictures. Got this little bit of velvet here. I might put the piece of that on, I think. Just a little bit. Um, yeah, I really, at least I want to get that finished, if I possibly can, today. It's one of those things that's kind of always nagging me that I haven't finished it and it needs it. And then it's done. I can put all the stuff away and move on because I've still got last year's Christmas journal to finish. I seem to have so many projects that I haven't quite finished. And they're usually things for myself. They're not projects that I've been... Well, there are one or two that I've done on camera that I haven't finished, but that's another story. But... Um, Yeah, I've got several things that I've been making for myself that I haven't quite got around to doing. But to just finish off. They're almost there. I kind of get almost to the finishing line and then wander off. <laughs> get distracted, I don't know. Can't quite get it over the line sometimes. We'll get there. It's not as if I've forgotten about them. I'm going to put this piece here, I think. So I've got them all overhanging a little bit. They can all be trimmed up, but I just want to make sure I cover the edges. Another bit down here. Yeah, we had, uh, I say, we had had Arlo yesterday, it was our day for looking after him, and as always, we had the most beautiful day with him. Such a happy little boy. Now he's not got a nasty cold or a cough, and he's not feeling, and he's getting better at, well, he's very good at coming, and not, not getting himself upset. His daddy always brings him, because he still doesn't like parting with mummy. Mummy's, mummy can't take him to any of his, can't take him to nursery or can't bring him here because he gets all upset if he, if, uh, if he, she drops him off so she can't do it. Um, but that's the way it is. He's, it's hard for a little one to be parted for, from his mummy when he's been with her constantly for a whole year. But he settles in really well. He comes to us. Starts smiling when he sees us now, which is so lovely. And um, I've got a lovely routine with him, you know, when it comes to bedtime, that works very well. He, um, I'm going to use a little bit of this. I think I know it's a bit of pur more purple, but that's okay. There's plenty of pink here as well. Yes, he's, it's, um, it's lovely now, but when, he, when we get him up, he sometimes doesn't always want to wake up straight away. We have to wake him. We have there's a schedule <laughs> because they want to make sure he obviously doesn't sleep too long in the afternoon, so that he goes to bed when he needs to because he need he, he does sleep well at night. He likes a he likes his sleep, but he doesn't always want to wake up once he is asleep. 
so we have to wake him. It's really hard. We say, oh, no, we've got to go and do it again. But, he, I mean, he had a, nearly an hour yesterday afternoon, which is plenty, really. But bless him, he did not want to wake up oh, yesterday. So what we've been doing is now, well, he, he sort of started it when um, when we got him up the, last week. He put his arms out to me, which he hadn't really done before. He seemed to want me to cuddle him. And we just sat and cuddled yesterday afternoon for about mm, nearly 40 minutes. <laughs> I did have to dash into the kitchen to put his dinner in the oven, but he he wanted me, you know, he was sort of looking for me. So we had to go back and I had to sit with him again. I didn't mind at all. And um, I'm going to use a bit of the um, the stamped fabric so I can cut a bit of that up, I think. I've got some of the pink, which would work quite well on a tag, but I think it, I'll just rather cut it up, I think. Yeah, so we sat and we, we looked at some books and he just wanted to snuggle on my lap. It was just lovely. And he did the same, you know, that was he started it last week when uh, when he come, we got him up and he held his arms out to me to cuddle him, which I hadn't really, as I say, I hadn't done before. It made me very happy because there's a lot I can't do with Arlo because he's a big boy and a bit heavy. I can't do the... I can't put him in his cot and I can't pick him up if he falls over and all these things I feel like I can't do with him. Um, so Richard is usually on the floor with him and running around with him and stuff. And I kind of do his food and things like that. So this being part of his um, bed routine, waking up, so I, I take him in into his bedroom and help to put, get him ready and then Richard puts him in the cot. Um, I feel like now it's... I'm kind of more got a um, kind of a, more a role to play, I suppose, in his day. In that I'm there for the the wake up cuddle, which is lovely. <laughs> oh, it's so lovely! That makes me very happy. In fact, I sent a picture to my daughter of me um, cuddling him last week because Richard took a picture of me. I don't have a lot of pictures with him because I'm usually one taking the pictures. And she said to me, Mum, you look like the cat that's got the cream. And I said, yep, that about, that about covers it. <laughs> and Nana cuddling the baby. Very happy Nana. But she did say something very, very sweet to us. Um, well, on, on the, sent us a message yesterday saying that we, after we dropped him off yesterday afternoon, or yesterday evening really, we dropped him off about six after he's had his dinner. And um, she messaged to say he's such a happy boy this evening. He's happier after you drop him off than he is after he's been to nursery, which was a very very nice thing to hear. That we, you know, that he goes home happy. I mean, he's always very pleased to be home and see his mum, particularly his mum. I mean, he's delighted to see her when we take him. But she said he was just such a lovely, happy boy. And I guess maybe he get, I don't know, he gets. He obviously gets a lot more one-to-one -one attention with us, inevitably. So it seems to set him up for his for his evening as well. So yeah, it is a, a real real pleasure to be able to do it. We wished we could have done it with Alyssa as well when she was that age, but at the time. One thing, we didn't live close enough, and the second thing was we were both working then when she was that age. And it clashed with Covid, of course, with the pandemic. So, anyway, we get to have see her once a week after school, so we managed to make do with that. I want to find some more, more bits of kind of plainer fabric in my box, all the sparkly bits, or the pinky, more pinky bits I suppose. I think we could, I could put this on, I think that would be okay on here, it's not, it's a little bit dimensional, but it doesn't mean, won't need anything over the top I'm guessing, really. Oops. Sorry about the noise outside, I guess it's somewhere around here, a neighbour's doing some drilling or something. It happens a lot on a nice day because it's a beautiful day today. Right, let me see. We're kind of filling it up here. Can I put this piece here? I think I can. 
Yeah. Might put some bits of lace on as well. Why not? Got some bits of lace in the right colours. Got this final little piece of the pink. Um, yeah, I might just put this. Where can I put? Where do I need a bit more pink? Do I need? I think I need a bit up, a bit of this up here. I think. Oops. Don't know where that came from. I might put it on here now because do it that side, and then we we can cover up the white bit with something else. All right. <clears throat> And let's, oh, I think I just want a few more little, little bits. What's this? It's a similar one. Not the same. Done a piece of that. Early this piece. Where can we put that? We can put that down here, I think. What's this? Oh, I was going to use a bit of that. I'm not sure about this. It's a bit kind of yeah, a bit thin. I'm getting sticky fingers now. Um, I think I need to, just need to pull out white to keep my fingers otherwise all the bits of fabric will start pulling off with, onto my fingers. All right, it's coming along. Let's see, let's put a piece of this. Some of this, uh, yeah, I might put a piece of this one here. Lump of Oop. Get a lump of glue on there. What about a piece of this again? Just gonna cut that down there, cut that in half, and or we'll glue oops, glue a bit of that on. Um I'm gonna glue that there. Right there, I think. Whoops. And now I've got the strings sticking to my fingers. <laughs> oh. This little piece down here, I think. Look at the state of that. Ugh. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Let's wipe that a little bit. And then we're going to pop this piece on. You can see why I'm going to have to let this dry before I sew it. Actually, I might put the more bulky bit down the side because I should probably want to sew down the middle. Okay, right, we need a piece here, something or other. What have we got lurking under here? I've got a piece of this. This is a very pale, slightly lilac -y. I think I might put a bit of this on. It's all a bit backgroundy, isn't it? This little piece. Kind of neutral, but I think it was quite pretty. Something like that. That there. Put another piece of that. It's rather nice. There's a slight, 
slightly neutral but still in the same kind of colour vibe. And a piece of that up here, I think. Put that there, cover that little little white spot there. Okay. So we need something across here. Go do a bit of this. It's a bit thick there. I think that's where it was joined to something. Take that edge off. Alright, let's just see if we can put a bit of glue. Sorry. Almost off screen there, wasn't I? <laughs> Trying to add glue and it's just pulling stuff up. there. Let's have a bit more of that somewhere shall we? Let's trim off that thick edge and put some here. little bit of bit of the scalloping sticking out the side. It's coming along, it's coming along, nearly there. Um, I might use a bit of this lace as well. This is a lovely this dark, dark lace, dark purple. So another another colour being introduced really, but still still purple. Another shade there. I can go on there and what else can I find? Any more bits in my box that I haven't used? Got some bits of this. This is um, it was a bit like a silk. And a lovely sort of lavendery, heathery colour. Hi, Heather. <laughs> it's your colour. spot for that I think we can let's put this on here put that there okay <coughs> I'm to roll it up now as I go along till I get back up to the top um oh 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 I got some of this I think I might use a bit of this piece off there. So this has a bit of dimension but um, I'm not going to be covering every inch with the sparkly bits so there'll be some bits that won't need covering any more covering and this is probably going to be one of them. Okay so I'm going to put some more of that one somewhere. I think we probably do. I did have another little, little bits of something or other. Some of this can go on, but this could be something to go over the top, I think. Little extra bits to add after it's been sewn. So, did I put some more of the, I was going to put a bit more of the purple lace. Let's 
So as many layers as I can get on that are still flat, I will. Um, where does it need a little something to need it there? Maybe there. I've got this really pretty lace as well. It's always hard to know when to stop. When do I not need any more? Um, kind of put the final layer on yet, have I? So we've kind of got there with the background. I think I might just put a little bit more of this just there. Might just just trim that down a little bit. I better have that one. It's got a bit of a gem on it, so I better have that over to the side because I don't want to break my sewing machine. But that should just catch that in with the zigzag. And I'm just wondering at what point to add my little pieces from the kit. Let's pop these in my box. I'm sure there's more bits to be added. <clears throat> As I say, it's hard to know when to stop. It's all a little bit, some bits are curling up because they're not completely um, glued down. They're just held in place really while they, until I'm able to sew. I need, I need to just wipe my fingers again. Because I was just wondering, I've got these some of these smaller pieces from the kit. And there was one or two that I thought would look really good on here just to bring things out a little bit. Or bring out the kit, something like that. The perfume bottles. If I could put some of those in there like that. Sorry, probably can't even see. Is that too much? Too big. I've got these little pieces like that. That would look alright on there. But would that be better to add after the sewing? Because if I've got sewing going down the middle, my I mean, my machine's got brown in it and I don't feel inclined to change it. Maybe that would not not really quite work. I might be better to put that over the top. Glue it on. Okay, I think I think any extra bits, any extra embellishments I might do after I've just sewn this all on. And then I will use my fabric glue to kind of add the final touches, which I think we'll probably have to do in the next video. So I think for now, that is my snippet roll as it stands, and it's very gluey, very wet. So I'm going to put it aside to dry, tidy up a bit, and then we'll come back and do some work in the journal, um, maybe looking for some journal cards and things to start putting in the pockets or adding a bit more decoration don't know yet but I will be right right so shall we start working in the journal and start adding some things to the pockets let's have a look see what we need well, I think we're going to need something quite big in here I'm even considering maybe making some sort of booklet or something not sure what can happen in there but we can do something but let's make a start that's a bit more manageable um, and start here I'm still thinking this I'm, I was thinking this could do with something but I think now that I've made that snippet roll I'm thinking a little bit of that would be quite good on here although I do have a few other little bits in this box that might work so I've got some a couple of these uh, well, the papers, paper ruffles. So a paper ruffle, maybe not, maybe not that one. 
Um, I've got this piece, which might be quite good on there. I think because I've cut most of the background off because it's a kind of bluey purple or a purpley blue, I'm not sure, but you can't really see too much of that so it doesn't clash horribly. That's a possibility. Um, what else have I got in my little box of goodies? Got a little <clears throat> cluster that I haven't used, so I'm going to put that here in preparation. This piece, I think it's from the same bit as that one, a bit too small for, for there, I think. I've got another, no, that doesn't go at all, does it? Another one of these paper, paper ruffles. Nope, not that one. This is a big snippet, that's not going to be any good on there. Could put a little bit of my washi tape, one of my washi tapes. Pink one, purple one. Maybe a bit of something across the bottom here would be quite nice. Maybe. <clears throat> it's like a, I knew that <clears throat> as I went through again, I'd want to start adding a bit more decoration. Just because it's what. Because <laughs> I like to do. Nothing, nothing can stay too plain or unadorned. Although this is all quite busy here, isn't it? <laughs> you couldn't really call this plain. Nevertheless, a little bit of colour on the bottom here would be quite nice. Just pull that in together. A bit of that there. <clears throat> and I'm quite tempted either to put that there or a bit of the snippet when it's all finished because there is that option just cut a little bit off and it would be <clears throat> much more coordinated and I've got this piece that's that's quite bulky don't think that would quite work there or anywhere really oh what else have I got here just see another little tiny paper ruffle here I don't know just feel like that maybe would would be quite sweet on there. What do we think? I like that. Don't want it to impede in the pocket, of course. I'm wondering even about half of it. Could I cut that in half? <clears throat> I might actually do that. Make it a little smaller. It's already quite dizzy. Use it a bit as a tab. No, need, need these scissors to get through that bit of uh, rickrack in the middle. Much as I don't like using these on the paper, and I can use this somewhere else, or could even go on the snippet. So I could put that there with something behind it. Something like a bit of this would go really well behind. I'm not going to cut it off here, of course, but I'm just going to try it out. So I've got lots. Got some more. How about that on there? Ooh, let's see if I can get some of that more of that purple. I don't know if I've got any left, I think I have. A bit more of that sorry silk would be rather good on there. Right. Cut a piece off. <coughs> Lost my box. Okay. All right. Put that right there. Might be too big. Put him on there. Yeah, I quite like that. Okay, I think I might try using this glue. Just 
hopefully in the end. How far down do we? We need it to go just about there. <coughs> Make sure we don't do anything to block that pocket. We can have it poking up a little bit at the at the top. Okay, and we can just pop that on there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm happy with that. You never quite finish decorating sometimes, do you? There's always more you can add. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Right, we better see if we can find something to go in that pocket now, haven't we? Can't just decorate, we need to actually put some things in the pockets. This is a big pocket. I'm wondering whether to glue this down a bit, make it not quite as gaping, because I haven't got anything really. I mean, this could get a ton of things in here, couldn't you? I'm wondering whether to just glue that a little bit. I might just glue that shut a little bit where I've got this gusset. I don't need such a big gusset. I'm going to see if I can close that off a little bit. And on here as well. Let's hope I'm not closing up the pocket completely, but I think I think I'm just making it a more manageable size. That's the idea. And we can just put something in there. So what I'm wondering, I've got a few um, made pieces of ephemera, which are all mostly tags. I haven't got very many small things. Gosh, I've got a bunch of things at the back here from the kit as well. Uh, ooh, and I've got, yes, I've got a paper bag I can use. Ooh, I've got a few things I can use in there. I've got a load of these type of things, these tall side tucks, belly band type things from the kit. I've also still got a real bunch of pockets, mostly corner pockets, but there's also a few like small either side tucks or pockets to go at the bottom. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use all of these. Seems a bit of a shame, but these kits are enormous. And this is just for this, this journal. I mean, I've got another journal to make in totally different colours. <clears throat> which I probably I should be doing in the new year I imagine so I don't know what I'm going to whether I'm going to use any more of those otherwise this the journal won't close will it so what I've pulled out as well um, so I've got all those pockets I've kind of been splitting things up a little bit from the kit to what what I need so all these pieces not that bit these are all things that can go into pockets so I've got a whole load of um, little tags and quite a lot of small journal cards. But I think they're all a little bit flimsy for me. So I think most of them I shall want to back at least with something, even if it's just something thin, if it's only got a small pocket. But a lot of these paper bag pockets, they can take something quite substantial or a couple of things. So I'm kind of... Sort of splitting them up, and I mean that's, that will need a bit of decorating, but it's a good sized journal card. There's a big tag. It's the only big tag I've got really, but then I've got a load I've made. Small tags. Then I've got a few that would either work as a pocket or as a journal card. I think journal cards really. So I've got that one, and that one, and then I've got another small journal card. So. I think when we find some that might work, then I think we're going to have to do some backing as we go along. It's just 
part of the process, I'm afraid. So I've not backed anything really because I didn't know what I was going to use. There is so much, but at the same time, they may not all fit into one of these pockets. So, so something like that. What I, I mean, obviously not this one because it's the same pattern. I'm just trying to get the size. <clears throat> Would that would be would that be one that would go in? It would, although it wouldn't go in very far. It would only go in so far. Oh, and the other thing I have that I can also use, which I have, I've got on standby. I've got this remaining piece of a, a, a masterboard I made a while ago, and then I've made this masterboard ready to use for this journal, I think I would probably need another one which I could do on camera or off camera. You can tell me whether you want me to see me making one of these or I'll just do it in my own time and then we'll use it when we need it. Um, if you like to see me making one, I can do that. Usually I do them off camera because I think sometimes they can be a little boring to watch, shall we say? <laughs> they can be. Um, right, so I've got those I can cut to size and they're, they're already backed so they're really ready to go once I need something. So what can I put in here? I'm just trying to find something that might be the right size. So although it's the right height, it's not going to fill the journal. Oh, journal. Pocket. Pocket, pocket, pocket. Um, unless I back it with something that gives it a little bit more width. But that would look old because I can't make it taller. This is too tall. Unless I do it, that's no, that won't, that won't work. And I've got a couple more of these smaller ones. So I could put something on the side to give it a little bit like a tab that makes it stick out, maybe. So you can pull it in and out. Otherwise, it might just get a bit lost. That's my concern. So we use these for other types of pockets that would just be a bit more visible and we'll use something we'll use our master board to make it something completely fitting for this pocket that would fill it I think we might do that I think I think we will right so if I can put my journal up here I think we'll take this smaller piece because it's only going to be needs to be small so we could mark it about here where I can see it, trim it down and then see where it needs to be height wise. and we can decorate it up a little bit as well. <clears throat> Where can I put this? <laughs> Over there for a moment. Right, so, that's the right width, but it's too tall. I'm going to need to cut it down a bit. Okay. Here nicely. Yep. So we just need to finish this up, get it ready, get it to look like a journal card. So I think we might just that one. And I 
ink it up a little bit. And I think we might just use one of our little decorative pieces from the kit just to give it a final, like a focal point. Might even use what something to make a tab. Let's have a look. Put that up there. All of these, yes, all of these are potential journal cards. This one is what we're going to use for this. Now these are my oh, these are my little decorative bits. Except those, they're no, not those. Um, ba -bum -bum -bum, ba -bum -bum -bum. Let's see. I could put that something like that on there. So we got that one. No. I've got a few of these. And I have some smaller ones. Let's see. Oh, something like that might be quite nice. Does it show up enough? Or oh, would that one look better? <clears throat> Too many choices here. Hmm, quite like that I think. Oh, I suppose I could put that in the middle. <laughs> oh, it goes on, doesn't it? It goes on and on. What can I put in the middle? I could put... No, it's not going to show up on there. That's not going to look right. Hmm. I might just put that there, just as it is. <clears throat> that go in the middle? Could it go in the middle of this one? Oh yeah, maybe that would be good. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Got there in the end. Right, so I shall glue this down. I'm not going to make it any kind of tuck. You could, you could make tuck things in, but I don't need any more tuck spots. Don't think in this journal. And then I'm going to put this one, make that a real focal point, but it gives it a bit more um, background, putting it on that other one, I think. Centralise it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Did I back? I didn't ink the back, did I? Let's just put a little bit of. Let's 
nice bit of journaling space on the back. I think that's also from the kit. And I think we might need a tab. I don't know if I can find anything in here to use. I'm sure I could. That make a little tab. Little quick try. Could we do that? Oops. Hmm. Yeah. I like that side better. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it's not going to show up so well, but I, that that will be fine. I think I'll use that. I will use that for my tab. And just need a little ink to define it. Make sure I've folded it evenly. clip right on the corners just to give some illusion of them being rounded. Which I like. I like that. Alright. <clears throat> Let's put this on. Bit of a slow process doing making them as we go along. I'm hoping that some of the kit ephemera or some of my ephemera that I've made already will just slot into some of these spots. And that'll speed things along a fair bit. Right. Let's pop that in there. It's going to stick out a little way. I think that's fine, like that. And you've got that really pretty flower on the back, which looks lovely there. <clears throat> All right. <coughs> First pocket filled, and there we are. That's rather sweet. Yep, happy with that. What are we doing for time? Mm, we are getting a bit a bit short of time. I'm wondering whether those one of those strips that I found. Okay, so I've had to change my battery. Um, and while I was doing that, I just backed one of these long pieces that I found. That I didn't think I'd be able to use, but I wrote it. I thought it would make quite a nice little side tuck on here, so I've just gone ahead and glued that on, just because it was, it just needed to be cut out, and stuck on as a side tuck. So we've got that on there, and then I want to add a little bit of decoration onto here, because although it's got that nice Moroccan look with the, kind of with this, I think this really has a nice look to it. It is a bit on the muted side, colour wise, so I wanted to just just cheer it up a bit. So I'm going to you to add this paper ruffle from Shabby Dabby Doodah. In fact, I had started gluing it, and then I realised I actually needed to put the, get, turn the camera on. Getting a bit carried away with um, just doing things. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just going to put this piece on because so I think it needed a little bit of bit of colour and I think the colour that this nice bright pink works well with the bit of stenciling there. It doesn't block anything. It just adds a little bit of little 
splash of colour on that on that pocket. And I also wanted to put something down here as well. So I'm not going to do, go too mad, but I've got a, I've got my pink washi, so I think I'm going to put a piece of that at the bottom. It's really pretty. It's got a kind of slightly uh, gold foiling to it, so it just catches the light a little bit along there. Then I pulled out a couple of little pieces. Um, this little piece from the kit, I'm just going to put there, I think. Yep. <clears throat> I just wanted to get this finished because time is running away from me and I thought at least I can just get this little bit of embellishing done and then we can come back and start. We can do more next week. Add more things, finish off that snippet roll, make that look even prettier. And I'm going to use one of these little um, Moroccan lanterns. Even though I'm mainly using the perfume bottles in this kit, I just thought I'd use these ones because they've got the purple. I'm just popping them in here and there. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to use them because in the next journal the colours won't work. But I've got <clears throat> loads. I mean, I've mainly used uh, bought that kit for the next journal. That will be the main embellishment for that journal. Will be the lanterns. But these purple ones won't really go, will they? So I just thought I could put that one there. Yeah, I like that. So that just cheers up this little tuck here. Got a new little side tuck here, as if we needed any more. I must stop adding more. <laughs> More pockets, I really mustn't, mustn't add any more. I have gazillion pockets and they've got to be filled. Right, so that's what we will be doing more of next time. So that'll be our next, next Monday. Next Mocker and Journal Monday and we'll just keep going. I think, <clears throat> much as I would like to get this finished by the end of October, I can't see it happening. So we'll just keep going until it is. And it'll overlap with some of my Christmas journal as well, I'm sure. So I will see you then. I hope you enjoyed this. I've had loads of fun as always and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.